Hello guys and welcome. If you are planning to play RuneScape, this video is just for you. Today I will show you top 10 tips for new RuneScape players. Ok, so let's get started. Top 1. When you log in into RuneScape, I highly recommend turning on the revolution because it is a combat style that automatically triggers your off cooldown basic abilities in priority order of their position on the action bar. To do so, go to the settings, combat settings and select the revolution. After picking this combat style, your threshold abilities will be cast automatically and ultimates manually. With the revolution activated, you can easily watch movies, for example, I watch Rick and Morty series while AFKing. Uh, so yeah, it's a great combat style for people who like to AFK and obviously it is easier than pressing the skills manually. In time you can set fully manual combat style because manually you can do more and more DPS per second. As well you can select what XP you want to get from melee skills in the right combat section. I recommend unchecking the manual spell casting because it will be way harder than just clicking on the mob and waiting till he dies. The main rule for a revolution is keep your life points high and smack the hell out of the mobs. Top 2. Bank Presets To do so, go to the nearest bank you can find and simply go into your bank. Then you will see Preset, preset menu, click on it and you will be directed to the presets. Why presets are amazing, main reason is that you can get your stuff from bank by one click and you can make many different presets for example, farming, bossing, Skilling. For myself, I have a Raxor preset, Farming preset, and a few Herb Lore presets. I like to have Farming preset because I just hate searching in my messy bank for farming supplies and tools. So that's why I made the preset. Uh, so to save the preset, you have to collect all of the stuff in your inventory and Beast of Burden if you have one. When you, when you will finish collecting the stuff in your backpack, just go back to your bank and save the preset, simply as that. Whenever you want to take the items you save, just click on load the preset and bam, you will have those items in your backpack. It's a really good and fast way to get your items from the bank. Top 3. Action Bars Action Bars are really amazing for dropping the items on the ground by pressing only one key on the keyboard. I will use Barbarian Fishing as an example. As you can see, I'm fishing and I have put it my caught fish into 1, 2 and 3 action slots. So this means when I will have full inventory of fish, I can just press 1, 2, 3 and drop all the fish on the ground. Simple and really, really efficient. By the way guys, dropping the fish on the ground doesn't stop your fishing, so no XP waste at all. I'm showing only fishing for example, but there's way more things you can do with action bars. Way more, way more, not only fishing. Top 4. Loadstones So basically, if you want to travel in RuneScape faster, you must unlock the loadstones. In total, there is 25 loadstones all around the RuneScape, so yeah, you will need to walk a lot to unlock them. Once you have unlocked all of, the, all of those loadstones, as I mentioned, you will be able to travel faster by using them. Loadstones are really amazing and I recommend, I highly recommend to all new players to unlock them as soon as possible. For example, if you're a new player, you will do quests one day and you will have, and you will be able to get from one place to another way faster than walking. So how cool is that, guys? Yeah, how cool is that? To unlock the loadstones, just simply go to one and click on it. That's, that's all. That's all you need to do. I have unlocked almost every single loadstone. The one I'm missing is Ashdale, but I don't really need it at the moment because I don't go there so yeah I don't really need that at the moment at the moment top 5 treasure hunter treasure hunter is a daily activity where players use keys to unlock chests in order to win prizes every single day you will get two keys for the treasure hunter and you can get extra XP money outfits masks and more stuff as well 200 million gold is a prize that you can win which is really rare and amazing Use the keys every single day because they don't stack. For example, if you won't play for a week, you will still have two keys to spend. As well guys, uh, keys can be earned by watching advertisements, buying products, completing surveys and etc. This is accessed by choosing the earn keys option. Clicking this button will log you out of the runescape to the lobby while you are using this feature. So this is kinda good for starting people, you can actually get keys and hope for that 200 million GP drop, yeah why not. For myself I'm spinning every single day those keys for extra slayer XP because slayer is a really really tough skill and I just want that 120, I just want it so badly, Jesus I want that 120. 
Top 6. Tool belt. This can be accessed by going to equipment tab at the bottom. Tool belt is really handy for keeping your items like hammer, fishing rod, farming equipment. Uh, once you put the items into tool belt, you can't remove them from it. So it's a permanent, de permanent decision. So be very, very clever what items you put in the tool belt. For example, you can put a dragon pickaxe into the tool belt, but once you have there, you can't remove it. So basically that means you can't sell it to the grand exchange or to people. A uh, tool belt is really amazing because you can save a lot of inventory space. For example, if you do hair bronze, you don't need to carry with you rake, sea dibber, spade, shears, and a lot of other items. So update your tool belt as soon as you can. It is amazing guys and it is really really handy option. Top 7. Worlds. Worlds are basically if you want to play without major lag. Choose world with less ping because if there is more ping in the world it means you will get more lags. For the best ping I would recommend 4050 and you will enjoy runescape without any lags. Unless you want to play in lag of course so be happy to choose any world with a high ping that's all. So yeah top 7. Top 8. Bonds. Okay, so I will talk a little bit about bonds. Back in the day, you could buy membership only by credit cards. Now you can buy them in game, Grand Exchange. They are untradeable and you can buy them as many as you want. So yeah, at this, mom at this moment, bond cost 15 million gold and you will be a member for 14 days. If you will redeem two bonds at once, I mean if you will buy two bonds, you will get plus one extra day being a member. Basically, more bonds you redeem at once, you will get few days extra being a member. This is really great way to be a member without spending any real money. I remember back in the day when I spent a lot of money on membership because I, there was no other option. You just had to buy, you know, you just had to buy. Now you can actually earn money on RuneScape and just get that membership. Is as that. Top 9. Quests. I highly recommend doing quests because after you will complete them, you will get access to enter different areas in Runescape, kill different creatures, explore new dungeons and more. As well after completing a quest, you will get a decent amount of experience and different rewards. For for example, outfits, hats, you know, and stuff like rings, you know, some jewel, jewelry, jewelry, and money. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for experience rewards after completing a quest, okay? As well guys, once you will complete all of the quests, you will get a sexy quest cape. At the moment, I don't have it because few new quests were released. So in the future, I will be doing those quests. Yep. Okay guys, and the last top 10, just have fun playing. For example, if you like skilling, then do. So yeah. But remember guys not to grind the skills because one day you will get bored and you will be tired of the game. I recommend just to do what you like, not to grind one skill or kill one boss for a week. Just do many things in RuneScape and you will always have fun playing this game. For myself, I remember when I grinded 99 wood cutting, it was such a pain. After a few days, I didn't want to play RuneScape. Yeah, I didn't want to play RuneScape for a couple of days because I was grinding like 10 hours a day. So. Guys, my tip is just have fun scaping, don't grind, just do multiple things in RuneScape and just have fun. Okay, this is it for this video, I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, consider smacking that subscribe button and as always guys, have fun scaping. PEACE!